Good morning, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm a full-time reseller on eBay, Etsy, and Poshmark. And depending on when you watch this, I might have one of those accounts turned on or off. Anyways, today, won't you come with me while I do my dishes? No. First up in my haul are these highly desirable mushroom soup balls by Arnell's. And I don't know if you're familiar with the Netflix series Stranger Things, but they had, uh, in one of their episodes, or more, I'm not sure, they evidently had the mushroom cookie jar similar to this. And so all of a sudden everybody wanted the mushrooms. I got four of them. If I don't chip them, trying to clean them up. Now these are the type of dishes that have these, you know, they're cl super clean, but they have an aged look. The color is beige, kind of a beige ivory off-white. These were an excellent find. I might have to go back and try to find more today. And then I got four of these plates. So it goes like this. And they were very dusty, so I'm just getting them all cleaned up and I removed the stickers. Um, I don't know if you were watching my I don't know if you saw my Instagram this morning, but I had got back from thrifting late and was too tired to bring my haul upstairs. Actually, um, there's construction, so I had to park a block away. So I left my stuff in the car overnight. And, of course, this morning it's thunderstorming out. Well, I need to get them, you know, the stuff out of the car because I have to list it. Um... So I went down, I, I brought the car back, and I, could, I found a one-hour parking spot closer. So I was able to unload. I made three trips up and down, and I got my stuff unloaded. And that's one of the, it's not that I got a huge amount of items, it's that I have these breakable things in the bags. And I have to be really careful, the thrift store did not have any newspaper or bags me so basically everything was loose and that which made it harder to transport anyway then I had to repark my car and somebody took my parking spot then I ran to the grocery store and got they have well the grocery store around here called Kowalski's are the super good bakery so I got a couple croissants for us and um I had coffee and a croissant, and now I'm making this haul video for you. So it looks like I got these all cleaned up and ready to lift. Sparkling clean. These are absolutely fantastic. I'm definitely going back to try and find more of the set. On to the next item we have in our haul. Be right back. Okay, next I have a box of these. These aren't necessarily very old, but they're these, these beautiful wings. Um, I'll just, I sell a lot of different textiles to crafters, so I got this whole box about 10 or 12 for three dollars and fifty cents i'll make one listing and then i'll sell per item with those i'm not necessarily a person to promote taking feathers or birds but these were already there and it would be a shame for them to just go into the garbage next i have this embroidered runner 
It's hand embroidered. Oops. I have to fix the lighting. Oh, no light on apparently is better than some light. Now I have this runner here. It's cotton, lightweight. It's probably a more modern or a contemporary, maybe tourist piece. I'm guessing it's Italian. At first I was thinking it was Hardanger embroidery, but gosh, I'm losing my memory. And here's the hand stitches. And I picked that up because it's handmade. Here we have this adorable monkey tablecloth. I just thought this was super cute. I don't know what I'll put on it. I don't even know how old it is, but it's adorable. It's a small size tablecloth, perfect for a little tea table or stand. Really funky and cool. Here I have this, kind of, you know, that has the Burberry colors, but it's not Burberry. It's made by Zara. And I paid $2.99. Here I have three heritage lace, various sizes for window panels or various size curtains, or in this case, a valance. I wouldn't have picked this up, but this has a very specific design on it that somebody who decorates in this is going to be looking for. Again, it's more about the design sometimes than the brand, but there weren't, there might have been one of these listed. I have a valance, I think two valances and a curtain panel here. Now I have known nothing about this. I just knew it, that's from the price tag right there. I just knew it's handmade and it's signed on the bottom. You can't see that, it's just too hard, but I thought that was a neat find. Signed piece of art. And I have to learn about that and do research. That's one cool thing, it forces you to do research when you don't know about something. Now this, I'm kind of mad because it got damaged in transit. This is a Chinese bird cage and it has little porcelain. This is actually, these go for a really nice price, but mine's damaged now. So I don't know what I'll do. If I should sell it for parts or maybe somebody can fix it. These are the little pieces that, this was already, I bought it with that damage, but then these little bars, I, I'm i certain I didn't leave the thrift store like that. I think, I don't know, maybe that happened in transit. So this is highly ornate. Oh, you can see that. Oh, maybe it's, I'm not sure if it's punched in a little there. I can't tell. Different, and then on the bottom, it looks like that. And so, but maybe a crafter can use this or somebody can repair it. It's pretty neat. And, oh, see, that comes off. That just comes off. So let me stand back here. I thought that was really pretty. Maybe somebody could put a plant in it. Now here was just a lot, a little baggie for $6 of these plastic toys here. And I picked them up because I saw through the bag these were colored, which I think are more desirable. And a couple of these horses say Germany on them. This one is apparently broken. 
So I'll just sell these together in a lot. And I'm not sure what I'll, what price I'll put on it. Just kind of a learning experience. And I'm making myself, I mentioned it before, go into the toys. It's just there's so much in the toys. And inevitably there's, you know, little kids. Some people let, don't do this, but some people let their kids loose playing in that aisle and they pull everything out and it's a mess at some of the places I go. I feel bad, you know, that someone just leaves them like that in the toys. This is why they shop around. You cannot trust. I come across some kind of strange situations in the thrift stores. I wouldn't let my kids alone there. Okay, and last but not least, my favorite find. Oh, these are really heavy. These are mid-century 1968. They're dated because they actually, these are just, I love these. They actually have, no, where did I put it? The label on Montgomery Wards. And I have another label here too. Now, these are made by Arabesque, and they're derived from a hand-carved original masterpiece. So I have to kind of research this, and of course, the sticker, I could not get the thrift store sticker off, and it ruined the label, which is really annoying, and why do they do that? Just like when they tape over hand-painted dishes and tape them together, and they there's that end end for some reason and I can't figure out why. Even though these are new with the tag. See, this is signed and it's dated. Which I don't understand that. Why a brand new thing is signed. Okay, I decided on Kowalski's bakery because they have honestly one of the best bakeries around and look at how can you complain look at the pretty parking 